Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. We need to be asking ourselves, do I have a teachable heart? Do you have a teachable heart that's open to God's holy word? The psalmist would say in Psalm 119, 169, let my cry come before you, O Lord, give me understanding according to your word. I, I want to know what's right based upon your standard, God, not the standards of the world, not my preferences, but your word. Consider Psalm 119, verse 170. Let my supplication come before you. Now get this, deliver me according to your word. We need deliverance. We need deliverance from sin. We, we need deliverance from man-made religion. We need deliverance from our, from our selfishness. Well, how are we going to find it? We need to find it according to God's word, his holy standard. How can we know what's right and what's wrong? How can we come into a saving relationship with Jesus? Well, Jesus would point out that if we're going to come to him, we must be drawn by the Father. But how does that happen? In John chapter 6, verse number 45, Jesus would say, it is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Therefore, everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. When we have the attitude of, of the psalmist, that we love God's word and we love what's right. You see, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God. This is God's book. And as we study God's book, he's teaching us. Well, the problem comes along that oftentimes I'm wise in my own eyes. Consider Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. There we're told, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Now, I need to have the attitude that I can't decide what's right and wrong without God's word. I can't decide where I should go without God's word. I sure can't come up with a plan of salvation without God's word. Now, we'd love to study with you. We'd love to help you. You may already know that you need to repent, confess, and be baptized for the forgiveness of sins. We'd like to help you with that. You may say, I need to study some more. We want to help you. Please reach out to us either by email or by contacting us on Facebook. And join us again for your daily 180.